In this episode of DPV, we're checking out this Innova 3568 timing light. Welcome to DPV. I'm Josh, and today we're checking out this Innova 3568 timing light. Uh, I needed a timing light so I could, you know, tune up the Jeep a little bit and you know, when you're doing this automotive thing, you kind of just need a timing light. So I picked this guy up on Amazon. It was like, uh, I don't know, 85 bucks or so. Um, there's a few different levels of timing lights. It didn't feel like, you know, buying one for, you know, 40 bucks or whatever is probably a good idea. And uh, I kind of wanted one that would show, that had the tachometer option. Um, but I also didn't want to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars. So I felt like this was a good compromise. It's uh, the Innova 3568 timing light, and it's got a tachometer and a digital readout. So um, we'll uh, get the Chief fired up here, and I'll show you how this thing works. All right, before we get too carried away here, we need to go over a few timing basics. So you're always going to want to check the timing on the number one cylinder and there are marks on the harmonic balancer, the pulley on front of the motor, that um, show top dead center. A couple things with top dead center, your piston's gonna be up two times, uh, two different times at you know, top dead center, but you wanna be top dead center on the compression stroke. So if this is like your first fire up, whatever, and you're not 100% sure, what you gotta do is uh, start cranking it over to where that timing mark is approaching, uh, top dead center and either you or someone else put your thumb over the spark plug hole and uh, see if you're getting compression because that means like all the valves are closed and you're on your compression stroke so um, then you always want to check timing on the number one cylinder uh, top dead center so when you're hooking up your timing light you're gonna hook this on to the number one spark plug wire you're always gonna set your timing advance to a certain degree you have to look at your specific engine's needs, whether it's high performance, stock, et cetera, et cetera. But it's always going to be a little bit advanced because um, you can imagine as your piston's coming up in the cylinder, um, you want it to fire before it gets to the top. Because if it, if you wait to fire till it gets all the way to the top, you're already too late. Because by the time everything hooks up and you get that flame. The piston is going to be on its way down and you're losing power. You're not going to, you know, fire it at the most compressed stage. So that's why you set it a little advanced, especially in high performance motors and um, ones that are going to get high, higher RPM because that piston's moving so fast that by the time it sparks, you spark it here, it's actually going to ignite there. So that's why you need a little bit advanced. We're set at about uh, 11 or 12 degrees on the Jeep. So let's get this hooked up to number one cylinder. All right, so yeah, I just uh, find the number one spark plug, follow that wire back, and that just clamps on there. Easy peasy. And you wanna make sure that your cords and stuff are not in the way of your fan. All right, your timing light grabs power from your battery, so you just, uh, you know, hook up. Make sure you hook them up on the correct side. Now we're good to go. See, it's uh, it's powered up. We're going to uh, start up the Jeep. It's going to take a couple minutes for it to warm up. So let's get that going.
One thing I did do to uh, make seeing the timing mark a little bit easier is on the harmonic balancer in that little groove, uh, use some white paint, painted it white in there, then it shows up really good when you're uh, running the timing light on there. So yeah, you just look for your timing mark. There should be a timing mark. Um, and I, I can't really show you because everything's painted black, but there's a timing mark on the front cover that lines up with the little timing mark on the harmonic balancer and you just uh, watch when it flashes um, on that on the timing mark to see it's laid out in like this one that goes one through ten uh, before top dead center um, other ones may have up to 15 or whatever so you just look at that find out where your timing's at and if you have to adjust it you know, you just turn your distributor one way or the other, whether you need to, you know, advance or retard. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's got the digital readout. It's got the uh, tachometer. Um, it's got that other feature I just found out about. So, um, pretty cool. They do have a NUX level up on this that uh, the reviews say is a little more robust. Um, I didn't feel like I needed something super sturdy because I'm not going to be throwing it around and I'm probably not going to be using it as much as you know a normal mechanic shop so this one for $85 I feel like was a good deal I'll leave a link to this one and the next step up on the Innova in the description below you can make your own decision I'm pretty happy with this one but uh, yeah that's timing basics and the Innova 3568 timing light if you want to support the channel we got merch on Teespring like these safety third shirts uh, link for that is in the description below uh, you can shop on Amazon buy one of these timing lights uh, that helps out the channel. You can become a Patreon. And last but not least, just like, share, and subscribe. Alright, wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.